Hello and welcome to another reading from the book, Our High Calling, a daily devotional. Today's reading is especially encouraging and it is entitled, Come Unto Me, April 1st. And Jesus said, Come to the water, stand by my side. I know you are thirsty, you won't be denied. I felt every teardrop when in darkness you've cried, and I strove to remind you that for those tears I died. Come unto me. Come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Many who hear this invitation while sighing for rest, yet press on the rugged path, hugging their burdens close to their heart. Jesus loves them and longs to bear their burdens and themselves also in his strong arms. He would remove the fears and uncertainties that rob them of their peace and rest. But they must first come to him and tell him the secret woes of their heart. Sometimes we pour our troubles into human heirs and tell our afflictions to those who cannot help us and neglect to confide all to Jesus, who is able to change the sorrowful way to paths of joy and peace. He proposes to be our friend to walk with us through all the rough pathways of life. He says to us, I am the Lord thy God, walk with me, and I will fill thy path with light. Jesus, the majesty of heaven, proposes to elevate to companionship with himself those who come to him with their burdens, their weaknesses, and their cares. His invitation to us is a call to a pure, holy, and happy life, a life of peace and rest, of liberty and love, and to a rich inheritance in the future immortal life. It is our privilege to have daily a calm, close, happy walk with Jesus. Rest is found when all self-justification, all reasoning from a selfish standpoint is put away. Entire surrender and acceptance of His ways is the secret of perfect rest in His love. Do just what He has told you to do, and be assured that God will do all that He has said He would do. Have you come to Him, renouncing all your makeshifts, all your unbelief, all your self-righteousness? Come, just as you are, weak, helpless, and ready to die. What is the rest promised? It is the consciousness that God is true, that He never disappoints the one who comes to Him. His pardon is full and free, and His acceptance means rest to the soul, rest in His love. You said you'd come and share all my sorrows. You said you'd be there for all my tomorrows. I came so close to sending you away, but 
was just like you promised you came here to stay i just had to pray and jesus said come to the waters stand by my side i know you are thirsty you won't be denied i felt every tear drop when in darkness you cried and i strove to remind you that for those tears I I trust that today's reading has been a blessing to you as it has been for me. Thank you so much for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book, Our High Calling. God bless you.